Vaccine Central focus tonight, immunity after you are fully vaccinated. A UTMB molecular biologist is giving us deeper insight into how long that immunity could last. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez is a member of our Vaccine Central team. She's in Clear Lake with that story. Haley? You get boosters for flu, pneumonia, Tdap, all because immunity wanes over time, so needing a booster is no surprise. The difference with the COVID mRNA vaccines is it teaches your body to fight the spike protein. So while antibodies decreasing within the year after vaccination isn't great, it's not the only thing working to protect you from an infection. UTMB's Pei Young Shi says the immune system ramps up a defense after your second dose of the vaccine and will likely last a long time. Compared with not vaccinated, for sure, it's much much better off, even without the booster. But he says since the vaccine taught your body to recognize the spike protein, your body should be able to generate antibodies when they're needed. How long will you have the ability to do that? We won't have that answer for a while. And I'm sure all the public health officers and the, 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 the vaccine manufacturers, they are closely monitoring the situation. Okay. But it's, it's, you know, it's just a nine month into the game. But he says it's worth getting the booster as soon as it's available. You can say that antibody even below, you know, non-detectable level in the initial clinical trial, uh, it already shows protection. But in the face of the public crisis, do you want to wait that long? I think it's a lot of a judgment call here. And, uh, and the public health, it's all about the prevention. You don't want to be too late. Now, waiting to see what happens only allows more time for new strains to develop and to something that our vaccines might not be able to fight against. Currently, the UTMB research shows that our current vaccines protect against all strains of the virus. Reporting live in Clear Lake, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.